Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Well, I found out why this phone is sold out in T-Mobile stores. This is my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy J7. Now, I'm jumping right in here. First of all, the body on here is like a silk white. Uh, in the store, this, it, it looks white. Now, the front is obviously the white around it, but it has that silky look too. But the back is a soft touch matte feel. I'm glad it's not real gloss, the glossy look. And it's a uh, silky white. It's very nice. So while I'm on the back here, let's talk about this. It's a 13 megapixel camera with LED flash. As you can see, they resorted to the speaker grill on the back there, that's fine. Uh, I don't think this phone has a metal chassis. I don't believe it does. I haven't heard anything about it having a metal chassis, but it sure feels like it. Uh, this is a sturdy, sturdy, sturdy phone. Um, and it actually feels really good in the hand. Let's go around to the bottom here where you see a headphone jack, charging sink, and a microphone down there. On the top, you've got another noise cancellation microphone up there. I don't know if this has a um, metal body or not. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm going to have to Google it some more. Power buttons over here and volume rockers on this side. This is actually a really, really, really great feeling phone in the hand. You're getting a lot of bang for buck with this phone right here. Why am I saying that already in my first impressions video? Well, here's why. Um, first of all, this has a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED display. And it's a 720p display, it's 720 by 1280, but listen, listen folks. Um, if you know Samsung displays, you know they're really, really good. Um, this has, shout out to James for making a guest appearance there. Um, this has um, a 1.5 gigahertz octa-core processor. Now, T-Mobile is obviously late to the game with this one. This phone actually came out, and they've been doing this here lately. This phone came out over a year ago, uh, like officially on the market, and T-Mobile didn't get it until recently. However, this has a 1.5 gigahertz octagore processor, and it's the Exynos processor. I'm gonna show you here. This, is makes, this makes this phone so much more appealing. So if you want, uh, look at this. Boom, I can't believe that. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Wow, uh, that's really, really good. This is, uh, this. Now I caught this phone when it was on sale for $199 through T-Mobile, but it's, out, it's only $239 at full cost through T-Mobile. There's a couple of different variants of this. There's a Snapdragon 615 version, and then there's this Octicore um, uh, Ex Exynos version, or Exynos, however you pronounce it. That blew me away. I didn't know which processor was in here. I looked on T-Mobile's website, and I thought, oh, this is gonna have, you know, like a, it's gonna have a Snapdragon 615 in here. Lo and behold, I put in, um, I put in CPU-Z, and there it is. Another thing is, the battery is 3,000 milliamps. Ugh. I mean, what do you think? I think that's pretty good for the price. Uh, as you can see, it's got a proximity sensor, a accelerometer, a grip sensor, and an orientation sensor. So that is really good. The fact that this phone has an Exynos processor in it, that right there alone, it's not just any Exynos processor, it's a 7580, which is really good. And it's octa-core. So let me go back in here and show you one more time. Uh, wow, that's bang for buck. I gotta tell you. Now, performance-wise, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. And uh, it's running Android 6.0 out of the box. So we're gonna go down here and I'm gonna show you that. There you are. 6.0.1 to be exact. And um, the firmware needs to be, the security patch needs to be updated. It still says April in there, but I'm pretty sure I'll start getting some updates and things in there. Uh, but uh, here's the menu, as you can see here. Um, it's, it's solid, man. Uh, one thing, uh, this is basically like all Samsung phones right now. Um, if you go into the battery, it has ultra saving mode. I mean, it has everything 
that all the higher end phones have. I'm gonna turn this off in just a second. I wanted to see how much with 76%, um, let's see how much battery I'm gonna get. This also has two gigs of RAM. Now, T-Mobile did a little bit of, it's like they took some of the internals. I'm still learning, sorry, I can't do it. Uh, it's, it's a, some of the internals from the 2016 Galaxy J7. There is another one. Uh, the newer version has a 787 Exynos processor and the Snapdragon 617. So there are some upgrades. This one has the uh, Mali T20 in here for the um, GPU, but the original version of this had 1.5 gigs. This actually has two gigs and it has, um, let me go into, See if I can find it in here and show you. Why am I in storage? From <laughs> well, I'll show you the storage. There you go. I've got all of my apps loaded on here that I want to load on here too. This actually has two gigs of uh, of RAM in here. Um, I'll get to it later. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm excited right now because I got such a good deal on this. I got it for 199 bucks. 5.5 inch Super AMOLED display, uh, 16 gigs of storage, SD card slot, 3,000 milliamp hour battery. It has a front facing flash on the camera. Uh, that is nice. So let's, so I'm gonna flip it around here. There I am. Look at that. Sweet, right? Phones now are coming with front facing flash. And while I'm in here, let's go into the settings. You can see all the capabilities that it can do. It can record in full HD. And uh, I like my grid lines. Uh, no location tags, buddy. And um, it's got the quick launch where you double press the home button. I mean, this sounds like uh, some high end stuff, right? Oh, let me show you one more thing in the modes here. Because I know you might want to see that. Look at this it's got the pro modes, panorama, continuous shot. HDR rich tone sports. This is stuff that's on the higher end phones. I mean, seriously, these are specs that are on my higher end Samsung phones. This phone costs a fraction of that cost. The fact that it's running Android right out of the box, it's like uh, T-Mobile decided to do a mixed bag here. Uh, they took some of the, they took the body of the older version of this because this is the older version's body, the original one from 2015. The newer one looks a little different on the outside, um, just a little different. Uh, but they took that older body and then they um, gave it the upgrades of the internals. Uh, the two gigs of RAM, uh, uh, 16 gigs of storage was always there, but um, wow, this is just a good purchase. So my first impressions of this, wow, I'm impressed. Uh, it's actually really, really nice. It's a nice phone. And um, just everything about it, man, I'm getting my high-end specs here uh, at, a, at a very pocket-friendly cost. I mean, very pocket-friendly. I've got all my apps on here from um, uh, all of the phones that I have. So a lot of people have been asking, am I going to do, a, a while back, um, when I got this phone right here, uh, people asked me, am I going to do a comparison? And I was like, yeah, I'll get the J7. Well, as you know, when I went to the store to buy the J7, Originally, I bought, um, I bought this phone, the HTC 10, and it was out of stock. And I was like, the J7 is out of stock? And that guy was like, dude, that's one of our hottest selling phones. And I was like, the J7? Um, so uh, to my surprise, uh, yeah, I can see why. You're getting some high-end specs with this phone right here at a low-end cost. Now, retail through T-Mobile right now is only $239. And you can actually grab this uh, on other carriers, I'm pretty sure. I haven't done any research on other carriers, but uh, this is a phenomenal buy for that price, folks. Uh, the 239 price tag, I got it on sale for 199 so I jumped right on it. And um, I'm actually gonna compare this to another higher-end phone that I have. Um, I'm gonna compare it to a, a higher-end phone that I have. And uh, some people are gonna say, oh, you know, that's, uh, that's not um, fair, you shouldn't do it. But I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm going to compare this, not to the HTC 10, but I have another phone um, that I got and, and it's right in line with this phone. Um, and I think I want to see how that fares out. Uh, this Super AMOLED display is beautiful on this phone to say the least. Now let me change the wallpaper real quick to um, one of the default wallpapers. 
because I actually had changed it. I did a backup and it brought it in. So, you know, this is just, just gorgeous. One thing I want to point out about this phone in the settings here, um, there's a setting called outdoor mode and it brightens up the phone for 15 minutes. Let me go and show you here. Um, I think it's under here. Here we are. Let's zoom a little bit. I thought this was very unique. So as you can see here, it says increase the screen brightness for 15 minutes. If the screen is turned on um, when the 15 minutes uh, have its elapsed, outdoor mode will remain turned on until the screen is turned off. So basically, if you want things to get really bright, you hit that button. That is a beautiful thing. I need to see this on more phones. The fact that, you know, I, I don't know about some of these OEMs, it's like um, they're giving us what we want uh, and they're just giving us these mixed bags. Like I, when I first saw this, I was like, Psh, you know, I don't really want to review that. I don't want to waste my $200 on it or $240 at the time plus tax. And then now after the fact, you know, hey, I'm man up. I'm, I'm glad I bought it. I, I'm kind of surprised that all of these features come in this little package here. Uh, the fact that this little phone can have an Exynos processor, now it's not the latest Exynos processor, but the fact remains is that it has one, and so we know that this should be very good on battery. Speaking of battery, the newer version has a 3300 milliamp hour battery. Uh, this one has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So either way, I'm gonna get stellar battery life. As you can see, SD card and SIM card there. These are internals. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, I'm really pumped that I grabbed this, man. I'm, I'm surprised, and now I know why this phone is sold out. Locally here, uh, there are none of these, man. Um, uh, they're just not in stock, and I'm asking this guy, like, what? So as you can see here, I, I had tempered glasses prior to purchasing this phone because I knew I was, was buying it. Um, however, uh, the tempered glass, you can see the install. I just did a quick install of the tempered glass prior to doing this. I love that this phone has a front LED flash and it is bright. The front camera is nice. The rear camera is really good. I mean, what more could you ask for? This is my, uh, shout out to Mark, um, <laughs> Mark Strout, Strout, however you pronounce his name. Uh, this is my signature phone, he says. He said they, uh, they made a phone and named it after me and it's called the J7. <laughs> That's pretty odd. The camera's pretty good. I'll give more detail on the camera later. Uh, however, uh, I'm impressed so far. So maybe you'll see a follow-up in 24 hours, or maybe you'll see a follow-up in 72 hours. I don't know, but I'll definitely be talking about this on my next Tech Talk video. Uh, wow, guys, this is a this is a winner. Exynos, it's a winner. This is a T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy uh, J7. Uh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it so far. I'm, I'm really impressed. I'll see you guys in the next one.